is the City of Flint's City Council Meeting. Presented by Spectacle Productions, determined to make a difference. And underwritten in part by Local 370 Flint, Michigan, United Association of Union of Plumbers, Pipe Fitters, Welders, and Service Techs. Pipe Fitters Union has entry level careers available and they're available at 810 720 City Council meeting. Up next. Report on any of this money that hit the plant actually came to us. This branch? It's, it's online. It's been online from day one. Taking action against plant. It's been subtracting the report that's ripped you down, slice and dice any way you want. You can pull that spreadsheet down. When I get, yeah, that's on the state's website, right? Yeah. Not, not this thing. Well, it's basically, no, yeah. This isn't what I want. Oh, I, I want in our books, okay? I want the line items of where this money went. Who got the contracts? Who, where this money went? Where it says treasury? That reimbursed plan or went to plan or whatever. I want a separate report on all of the funding that actually hit our coffers, mm -hmm. how that was spent, who that money went to, and for what. And I would also Some like- information, President Winfrey, is it appropriate because Senator Hanenek is before us today that maybe what's being discussed now can be done in our committee meetings on Wednesday? Possibly, but I'm doing it now. Right, Ms. Galloway, but thank you. And I'll get back with Mr. Hanenek in a moment. I want a ruling. Because this is the point of the meeting. So, so, so Councilman, you want, you want, I think it is, it is good that you use this time. Right. I think what you're asking is, is right. legitimate, and it should be, but if it's something that we can do in the meeting, right. we can do as much as we can have that one question. Well, and you don't know how that question is then going to lead to a question for the Senator. See, but, 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 Okay. At the request of my colleague, I'll do it at a different meeting. Okay, and next time, please, when you ask a question, I'll decide whether it's important or not. Well, okay. All right, so I'm going to let Senator Adamick uh, use his time to give us some information we don't have. And I want to tell you, this information is extremely valuable. Well, well, the councilwoman, I don't think we have a question. I want you to go ahead and do that. Oh, I'll call Senator Dan and Nick okay. privately. Then, councilwoman, thank Gordon. you very much. Yes. Uh, so, I'm concerned with uh, the six million, and it costs two million per month. So, I'm going to put nine minutes on your stand. Yeah. So, that's three months of bottled waters. Uh, would it be more beneficial instead of bottled waters uh, that we do whole house filters? You know, I'll, I'll say this. I have had some serious disagreements with the governor's office about some of the dollars that coming and how they were spending it. Specifically, some of the dollars. <clears throat> so, the question was about related to the efficiency of using it for bottled water versus home house filters or other programs. Uh, and, I, and I promise you, this is not me passing the buck. But I, as an adamant opponent of Public Act 436 and a believer in home rule, I really think those decisions should be made by, by people in this room. I will advocate for resources if I agree with you, and in most cases, I don't think I've ever turned you guys down for trying to get something that you, that you, that you may or may not, that you, you, may, you believe you may need. Um, you know, there are home house filters, that's a program. You know, there's the, the regular filters, there's other aspects you may want to, you know, try to go for. Um, I think those are something that you guys should decide. I, I, don't, I don't necessarily think any of those would be I don't think they're disqualifiable expenses. If there's something you think uh, would be in agreement, you'd have to get the administration. When I say the administration, I'm sorry, administration, the, the, the governor's administration, to agree to it, or they wouldn't even present a request. But I think those are all legitimate things to be going for. And I, to the point earlier about city dollars, and to your point, uh, 
I still think that most people have a complete lack of understanding of how the credits were distributed, and I'm sure it was something the city had uh, trouble distinguishing because it was 65% per, or 47% of the bill. If that's not if that's not the administration trying, to, the, the governor's office trying to find some crazy way not to give us what we deserve, I don't know what is. But uh, it's it's one of the reasons why uh, so little of that money. It, it, it is important to note so little of the money actually came to the city, and they 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 harmed the citizens physically. But they also harmed our city, and they harmed our school system, and they harmed our community colleges. And you can talk to people all over the city that were harmed in some way with their business. Uh, you know, I will tell you this too, this is not related to this, but it's important. Last week, and I'm saying this because I think we're all in agreement here, nine people, the, 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 the elevated, elevated blood lead level program, and, and it had nine new people that had uh, elevated lead levels in children. Wow. I'm not suggesting that it was all water or whatever, but if we know that they're still seeing an increase in people having to come in, that there's still a problem. And it's also important to note that the Genesee Medical Society and the Genesee and the Genesee Health Department have not lifted their health advisory. I just want to make sure, as a resident, as a person who, uh, Madam Vice President's constituent, I want you to know I agree with you that that uh, the governor said he would stay till the he said the water would stay until the pipes are replaced. That was not, we didn't say that he said that. So that's important to know. I mean, whatever kind of stuff they want to say to get out of that responsibility, that's not what they said. Or, I'm sorry, I just had to say that because I'm, I'm, I'm in front of you and I'm, I'm as angry as you are that yes. they've mm -hmm. done this. Yes, well, I think we should look into something other than what we're currently doing because that money gets drained pretty quickly. So hopefully in our committee meetings we can explore that option. And also, uh, I'm glad you're here because I wanted to have this conversation a little bit <clears throat> sure. um, about water affordability. And if we can have some help yep. um, from your end and, and just to explain a little bit for those who don't know, Flint's water rates are at least triple, if not triple. Point of information. Well, I have a point well, for it. I have a point. Wait, 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 wait. I've got to do it with a point now. Right. Let's, let's don't be out of order. Okay. Come so on. point of information, again, that is a very important thing, yes. but it takes us away from the scope of yeah. Senator Anna next time. Right. Which is now. So, well, and, well, and that's okay. Well, it's okay to disagree, but I've got to make a ruling on it because it's what we are supposed to be meeting with them for is, is listed. This. And Correct. so I'm going to rule that it is. Right. It is important, but look at look at look at your sheet. Correct. It tells I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. I'll continue, and I will tell you exactly why it relates to why he's here. I, I'm sorry, but I think it's for okay. not not now. You've only okay. done Kate okay. Fields, but okay. me. Yeah. Yeah. This is important. Um, if our water was affordable and not three to four times the rate. Uh, of anywhere else in the nation, we might be able to buy our own bottled water rather than, now we're paying three times the price of water and we have to buy water to drink, so we're paying a lot. That was my point. And I'm sorry, I just a little, <laughs> it, it was relevant. No, no, I, I'll, I will say this. Yeah, yeah growing up, I was saying that we used to say, my name's Paul, and that's, between y'all, but uh, <laughs> you, you just let me, I'll, I'll answer any question you guys say is okay. <laughs> no, but let me, let me, I can get you just a quick answer to get to the point of making sure we stay on task. Um, we have introduced some bills related to water affordability there. Are, the city, as you all know, is limited in the way that you, the way that the state allows certain ways you can uh, bill water. And there's other states that have done things in a more creative way that make sure that people don't lose access to their water. Uh, Philadelphia is doing some things. And we're looking at, potentially looking at, um, I've introduced some bills. I'll make sure I get you copies of those. Yeah, because I think there's, I think uh, this is not a problem, this is not a problem that's created recently. It's been going on for some time. You'll come back. But, but I'll make sure I get you as much information as possible. Council And I just want to say respectfully to my colleagues, I think everything that's been mentioned is very important. And it's, it's unfortunate that Senator Ananek, this is only the first meeting and it's, it's like I heard my grandmother say, you, babe, you can't fit everything in at the same time. And so I, I, I do agree with that. This is only the first of one. And so, Senator Anik, but with that, I wanted to ask a, a, a specific question about um, are we going to get information on that $9 million? And was this fund supposed to be allocated for lead service lines? Well, I, you know, they, 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 I will say this, it was unencumbered and they would use it for whatever they needed to. Because the problem is, and I, I argued this, you know, 
when, I, when they first started doing the appropriations that we don't know exactly what's going to come up, right? And there's been lawsuits and some of those things have required things to happen in a certain way. Uh, so uh, it was unencumbered for purpose, and it could be used a number of ways. I can probably find out who made that request. It may just have came from the governor's office. I don't know. Yeah. There's no way to tell if it came. It'd be hard to say other than that, because they would have made the request. And then my last question on this is, if these funds were allocated for water pipe, I mean water pods, per se, and there is still $6 million, why would anyone um, deny us if this is what this money has been used for. And again, like you said, now, I'll say, Senator Annanek, I've never met with Governor Snyder, but I can tell you that I knew that the water piles were closing in March. So it wasn't a surprise to me. Been trying to tell as many people as I can. And so I'm disappointed that the, the, the belief has been, we just got this three days after we got home rule. But I don't, I'm just saying that for the record, I knew, never been in one meeting, and so it was three weeks later. And so, my, but the question is why, if we choose to, and these funds have been used for that, if it makes this community feel good, even if it's only for another three months, because they weren't properly prepared to not have exposure to that water, why would someone deny it? You know, and that's my last question. For that's me. an important question, but you're asking me to speak to motive on, on what okay. their what their what his reasoning was. Uh, you know, I think it speaks to the way they've handled this crisis from the beginning. Mm -hmm. you know, I mean, they've uh, it's, they've taken a different approach than a public health crisis. It's been more of trying to solve the, the terrible, terrible mistake they did <laughs> through the public relations, uh, maybe not, maybe through the politics of it. And I think you guys, uh, I think we've as a community stepped up much more than the state has, um, and you know. I fought to make sure that a lot of these dollars went to programs that I knew would work, but I also wanted a lot. I, I mean, they broke the city. I wanted them. To, I wanted resources to come here. Uh, we got some, you know, through the, the way that they did it, but not as much as I think uh, needed to be happening. Mm -hmm. I, I think a lot of the motivation comes from the settlements. So we just had another settlement agreement on assessing all the children in place. Um, so I, I don't think the budget office would admit this, but I think they want they want to be able to cover the things that they are legally required to cover. I'm not defending that. I think it will come up with your own money, but I think that motivates the question. Councilman Davis, you had your hand up. You yes. Know, had some yes. Can I get you just for one minute? I'm, I recognize you. Okay. Can I get you to uh, enjoy the Councilman Davis for a minute? Yes. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Davis and President. Look, we've got the new economic development to lead, lead in the room. Eva, when we get in committee meeting, I've already said something, and we know by the wild is temporary. People laugh and do what they want, but I'm proposing we have our own bottled water factory and we put it together in bottled water. They trust that bottle of water because they went through that corroded infrastructure. So if we doing something of that nature, I'm eager to bring them in and discuss solutions and Ms. Galloway, I'm not proposing we use this six million for three months. I'm proposing that we got the rug pulled out from under us in three days. After Mr. Davis speaks, I think the council should hear what President Winfrey has to say. So I just wanted to throw that caveat in. We know about the whole house filters, but they've given us the other filters, and it was their money. We don't have the money. We've got an economic development director as a team. If we decide that Senator Anna, that he want to help us pull from the Michigan Economic Development Corporation and work with the regional chamber and build a bottled water factory where people trust that bottle of water that ain't went through that corroded infrastructure, we'll talk about that. But I just wanted to say that we gonna get you out of here on time. Thank you, Mr. President. Ms. Annick, I got a question. Sure. When they close the pods, they cause a lot of discord in our community. Yeah. And I can see the dissension coming back, and, and respectfully, it should, because people frustrated. But by you being in the state, what would be your recommendation that would keep us focused where we need to be focused with the administration as well as this body working together in an effective way? to get results, and we know that what's been done to us is wrong. We all know that, 
but what would be a good way for us to move in unison instead of in division? Because now we can start to pull us apart again. Sure. You got any recommendations? Point of information. What's your point? Have Senator Anna Nick heard any reports back from any meeting with the mayor and the yeah, governor? The news I, I, I spoke to some of them. Oh, okay. But I, I, but you can, you can, I mean, obviously, I don't know if many have, you know, your input, but I do. When I'm done, I don't, I don't know if you, you guys could. Yeah, we I, I don't. I don't want to make sure I answer this question. I'm sure anyone yeah. else is too. Right. Um, <clears throat> so, um, this is my opinion. Right. I think, um, uh, and anytime we're divided, they're going to use that as a state against us, right? So, I think what I would do in your committee process is you'd have, you know, a number of things. You'd have a new economic development team. Um, figure out projects you want to see uh, uh, going after, come together and agree on that, and I can help, you know, as I, as I will, my colleagues in the State House, going for the, the Michigan Economic Development Corporation, other things like that. Figure out exactly what you want to do when it comes to uh, uh, the water issue, whether it's we try to raise private dollars. I'm going to still try to raise private dollars. To, people need to have bottled water, right? And we have to figure something out in an official way, but we got to make sure we have people access to some form of bottled water. So, uh, you know, I'm gonna work on that. I know many people in the room will, uh, but decide uh, what kind of requests you want to be made, uh, if any, um, and then you know, sort of as a group, figure that out with the administration. Uh, and I think do that with every area. You know, if there's something that you think, you know, there are um, limited amounts. There are there are uh, distressed cities grants and things of that nature that can be applied for. And if in the past we've gotten those. Uh, look at you know, chrome through the books as you're going through the through your uh, I know you get, it's middle of April so you're going through your you're going through your budget process now uh, if there's anything you want me to request I work with the administration and, and, the, and, the, and the, your council leadership on uh, what, what, what that may be uh, you don't want to bake that into your budget of course but there's things whether it's a drinking water revolving loan funds or whatever that we haven't received yet um, you're more than happy to try to advocate for those but I think you know kind of to say you know whenever you can realize that there are different, there's different ways to approach this, and I don't think any of them are necessarily wrong, right? There's different, right? Whether it's home house filters or bottled water or trying to do something from an economic development perspective, um, just figure out exactly how much road you want to go, and I think that's probably the best way. We've got, we've got, here's the way I want to do this. We've got about seven minutes, Councilwoman Fields, Councilwoman Worthing, and then we're coming back to Councilwoman Mayors and other council people have questions and want to do that. Point of order. With seven minutes, and I know how I talk, and I know some of my colleagues, with seven minutes, I would ask that the colleagues allow Miss President Winfrey to shed some light on the meeting that you went to today with, I thank the mayor and the governor. Mm -hmm. And I want the Senator Anna to hear this, and then we try to get to that. And then finally, this last um, tidbit on the order, and I think we've been and done what we choose to do, and we'll have continuing meetings. Sure. Then I will do so. Um, this morning, uh, the mayor and her staff, uh, Mr. Gilchrist, uh, Dr. Pugh, and myself, uh, and uh, Mr. Miller, uh, met with the governor and some of his staff. And the purpose of the meeting was uh, to talk about a comprehensive way to use uh, dollars, including the water pod and some other things. Uh, the governor did not want to hear about the water pod. In fact, uh, I, I, I was very upset with, with how I, it seemed that we were somewhat rushed out of the meeting uh, because uh, someone kept coming to the door, giving him uh, uh, an indication that it's, it's about time to kind of wrap it up. And there were, it was it was good exchange, but to no avail as far as the water pod is concerned. And I think the governor specifically said that we could come back when we wanted to talk about economic development. Uh, it was uh, I think Mr. Gilchrist and the mayor and Dr. Pugh uh, were vehemently, uh, uh, well, let me back that. Same people were strongly advocating for water pods and other things, but the government just didn't want to hear. Okay. In fact, uh, I think, Mr. Gilchrist, could you 
Could you tell exactly what he said? What's your point? No. I would like to stay with this order. Do you know whether or not it can shed light, whether or not he see that six million used for well, something else? I think, I think he said that six million, that 4.1 million of it should be used, I believe, for something that dealt with the Board of Education. I believe it was some kind of may have been a lawsuit or something like that. There was a uh, settlement that was happening this right. week last week related to uh, special education access and assessing the students. Is that right? Yeah. Is that is that how you remember that, Mr. Gilchrist? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So it was it was to me it was it was not it was not a fruitful meeting. Uh, I thought there was a good faith effort on the administration uh, to set that meeting and to go down and to try to talk about this and to get them to see through the lens of the folks here. Yeah. But he just wasn't, he just wasn't here. Yeah. Wasn't like, and you know, as you know, we, we spoke, I spoke with the administration ahead of time. And I know they came in, and you know, from talking to you, came in with a well-reasoned, logical mm -hmm. uh, way forward. And right. that's the response that we got. So thank you. Yeah. Can I ask my question? You sure can. Okay. Yes, if there was something else. I wanted to ask you, you know, we had our drinking water re revolving loan fund uh, forgiven. $4.5 million. Okay, the state forgave that. We have a problem now. I, I, number one, how much does the legislature have, clout well, have in terms of getting our wind plan approved? Because we put in another wind plan. And part of what we want is we desperately need new water meters. Yeah. And we're being told that that's not infrastructure and uh, it's not eligible. So we're having this battle go on. I don't know if there's anything new on that. But can a drinking water, uh, the revolving loan fund, can we create a new one and maybe get that forgiven too and use it for some additional things that we need? Well, they can do upfront drinking water revolving loan fund. They can say that they're going to forgive it on the front end. I can I can check into that, and I I mean just as a personal side, that I have to call my water, my my water meters work, so I have to call in like a lot of people do. Mm -hmm. So I know it's it's a problem, right? It's these are old water meters. I don't know I don't know when they purchased them, but it was long before I was on council. So uh, we don't have any direct authority over when they approve it, when it, if they do approve a, a win project. But I can, I can inquire and suggest them that I'd like them to give you. a and the longer they wait, the, the more that federal dollars are sitting there. So if you guys have put a plan in place that you guys have all kind of sent down together, um, I can, I will definitely. Well, perhaps our CFO could communicate with you on those issues. I'm just trying to think as we have you here, how can we get some additional funding? Point of information. Put your point down. Can we get to this last agenda item and it's about two minutes to three? Yeah, it was Council Councilwoman Worthing had a question. Is she done? I'm done. Um, for some of these, the monies in here, it seems like we already have it in our budget, like uh, double up box, food banks, um, ND backpack program. Uh, I mean, is he saying that he used it for Flint water and it's already been budgeted to use for that? Like no, no, okay. we didn't. We had some of these programs existed, but they didn't have access to enough people. So they would a lot of these programs we just expanded because they were already in place. And we knew that you know we knew that nutrition once you've been you know, exposed to that, it's not a good thing. It's a terrible mm -hmm. thing. But there are some things that can at least help remediate some of the problem. And some of those some of those things in the food nutrition programs, early education programs, there was some money that went to the VAAA to handle um, you know, senior citizens. If you're in that middle area, if you're just a, a person who's not a child or an adult, there wasn't a lot available. We pushed for some things, but we weren't able to get as much. But So what we did was we were able to expand programs so that we'd have access for almost everyone, right? With like Medicaid expansion, if you're under, if you were in utero or up to like 21, <coughs> you know, people should get expanded at Medicaid, so there'd be no co-pays and things like that. Uh, those are some of the programs. So some of them weren't new programs, they just expanded the access and eligibility. Sometimes they took away the income and uh, in, in, uh, in eligibility requirements. Like there was a $30 summer program for, for uh, um, uh, uh, the EBT card, summer EBT card, everyone got that. You should have just came to people's homes and it had $30 on it, right? And if you had kids, that would 
you know, everyone with a kid had that, that program. So some of these programs weren't new, they weren't necessarily uh, created. Uh, some of them were created, some of them were expanded, some of them uh, were just funded at a different level. Mr. President. Council Ms. Wagon, were you through? Yes. Uh, Mr. President, uh, on page two of this uh, letter and or I'm going to call it resolution where the emergency manager ordered this repeal. This is the letter I'm going to give it to you, but it's copy. Um, the colleagues got it. Everybody got it. Has it been passed out? Have you got it? No. Okay, I think Janelle brought it in. Um, do anybody see it? Yeah, page two. Right here it says that um, that it be recommended to the state treasury that all Flint emergency managers order here to for not repeal and that remain in effect on the effective date of this resolution be prospectively repealed as of the effective date of this resolution. That looks like a period. Mm -hmm. Then it says all actions taken by city officials the board or both pursuant to a Flint emergency manager order while it was in effect remain valid after its repeal to the same extent as the Flint, as if the Flint emergency manager order remained in effect. Maybe you and your legal guy, all we want is a quick interpretation. If it's been repealed, but the actions remain in effect, what we want to know from y'all on y'all capacity. Everything is repealed. I'm sure that's the intent. But what remains in effect is the part that's kind of screwing me up because if you repeal something, we don't want it to remain in effect. It should not have to remain in effect. So that's the question. Yep. And if Senator Adam, I'm so glad that you were here on page, page two. two. I'm glad you were here. Number. And we apologize for getting you out of here three minutes late. <laughs> now that we've been on time and we've met our schedule, um, I always want to be respectful to the mayor's administration, Mr. Gilchrist, Mr. Miller, Mr. Branch, the city attorney, Angela Wheeler, and finance director, Mr. Newsom. Is there anything that they would like to ask, communicate, or exchange before we ask him to be dismissed? Or if there's anything you would like to say or exchange with the administration? I would say, Mr. President, if I can say it, this would be the time. Administration, Mr. Branch, the administrator, Mr. Gilchrist, um, finance director, any questions? Miss legal department, any questions? Any comments? Anybody? I just asked you. What are you talking? Relax, Miss Fields. Um, so, if it's not Mr. Anthony, anything else? No, and, uh, we'll, we'll look into that, and then we'll probably to get an official legal opinion. There's Probably some process for that, whether it's the attorney general or uh, yeah. Mayor, we, uh, we can uh, we can get our understanding of what that means, and then we can make sure it gets backed up. And, and just for the record, Senator Anandek, um, if you could forward that, because um, I've been told by the AG that the only way that we can get an interpretation is through our state legislators. So if you will yeah, present sure. that to him, and what yeah. type of um, formal yeah. way that would be great. Yep. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Any time after this, it's on you. Okay, no, thank you. Mm -hmm. Speak to number the number of you on a regular basis. Yeah, we don't okay. want to run you off. So no, no, it's fine. Thank you. Come back <laughs> again. Will you come back again? Of course I will, yeah. Yeah, it's my pleasure. I believe. <laughs> thank and you. And you so always have my phone. Yes, yeah, I try to. Thank you. Thank you a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah.
part of this, but I think I'm going to get it. We can, we can continue. We're going to ask the public not to go because once we uh, once we kind of do our round robin here, okay. uh, yeah. then we're going to hear from the community because this is a, a yeah. special city yeah. council meeting. We want to hear what hear your comments as well. Mr. President, yeah, I would ask that this subject matter be um, brought up in finance committee meeting. If it feels you have no objection to some of this discussion about money being on the finance committee, then I would make the referral that the discussion about the finance part be on the agenda for finance and then I want some discussion as to these matters on governmental power and or and legislature. And I might as well put it on grants as well. I want the full court press on this discussion about this um, money as it relates to Mr. Gilchrist passed out a um, press release did y'all get that? And I've heard what Mr. Winfrey, excuse me, this is going to be important. I don't play when it comes to these folks hollering about this bottle of water and what they trust. You know, I had a, 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 a mother with um, compromised the immune system and respiratory uh, problems. I didn't do an autopsy, but that's been some of the symptoms, and she died. So I take this seriously. I'm not grandstanding, don't care about no camera, don't care about folks in and out, and I ain't grandstanding. You can see now, in my opinion, had we moved that two million and put the governor in a bind from what I'm hearing Mr. Winfrey say, four million maybe for some lawsuit. Now, if the governor or anybody else want to fight, a two million dollar allocation when I'm gonna get to the bottom of this stuff. I'm gonna be reading the heck out of this stuff at home. And I'm gonna see where all this money done went. And if you can backfill nine million for lead service lines after AE time, get that wind money in and then put the nine million back. But I think it's a coincidence that President Winfrey and the mayor and them here in 4.1 million. Because when you subtract 4.1 million from 6.1 million, what you get? Two million. That means the Lord moves in mysterious ways, Mr. Newsom. And I say you subtract 4 million from 4.1 million from 6.1 million, you get two million. Plus, we got senators and others who will work on allocations of money and. Remember, the finance director said that that money I was talking about wasn't going to be spent per se to 2021-2022. Now, if they want to block and talk about proposals that I submit when I submit them for this community, then that's what's going to happen in the budget year. I'm not just a finance man. I'm a politician. And I was, I, I'm highly pissed politically when I'm trying to do something for the community in a strategic way, financially and politically, and people lobbying and calling and blocking, talk to me, call me. And my phone ain't rung in seven days from certain folks in the administration that I feel should have been <clears throat> discussing the proposal. I got a problem with that. I went to Mr. Newsom right after the meeting I talked to Miss Will on the phone. I seen Mr. Branch coming in the parking garage. And so I done did my reach out. But if I'm an ally of the mayor and her administration, communication goes both ways. It goes both ways. And so this discussion was very important. I appreciate the opportunity for President Winfrey to go on our behalf. Sometime they can take two. I figured they had took you and or Santino Guerrero. But it was Mr. Winston. And to this day, a week later, last Monday, on a proposal I call myself sponsoring to temporarily keep some pods open and then in the long term 
deal with a bottled water factory, my phone ain't run yet. I think I'm just as important as the governor in some sense. He was born in 1958. Guess what year I was born? 1958. <laughs> he was born in August of 58. Guess what year I was born? September 58. So if we don't truly be a team and you sponsor something, Mr. Davis, or you sponsor something, Ms. Galloway, I expect my phone to ring. Call me in a meeting. Discuss it. Now, let's see what happens here. I'm going to read this press release. I appreciate Mr. Gilchrist passing it out to me. Through you, Mr. President, was this just a press release or a press conference, Mr. Uh, it was a press conference. What time was that press conference? And why was it held? And it was held in the lobby or in the conference room? Okay, I had heard nothing about it, but I don't look at emails. So that could have been my fault. I don't look at emails. I take old school phone calls. And then you can put stuff in my mailbox. So I'll read it. I'll look at the news. When my cable on and my bill paid, I, I, I record all of them. Right now, my cable off. You know how much we make a year? 19000 a year. Is that the poverty level? Yeah. Yeah. Below, 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 below. It's below the poverty level. And I took the buyout from GM and get 4000 partial pension. So I'm at 23000 Is that above or below the poverty level? And so I love doing my job. I love doing my job, and I like to think I do it well. And so I think council, or three or four or two members of council, or five or nine, should be full-time with staff and pay just like Jim Adam. And so, Mr. Newsom, I'm here to tell you, I'm going to introduce ward accounts. I'm going to talk about council pay. I'm going to even, Miss Galloway, talk about attendance requirements. Right yeah. Can we get down I'm going to talk about it, but you can get asked out. Amen. You can get asked out. I take this seriously, but I know you wasn't trying to be funny, Mr. Paladino. And Mr. Winfrey, I really appreciate you in the meeting last week when that guy on the front row was fixing to act a certain way. I'll be watching the House of Prayer case, just like you just said, do you get dinner? This is a serious meeting. We friends, your birthday on the same day as mine, September the 16th. 61. You 61, I'm 58, but my, my, my point is this. When there's a meeting going on, we want y'all to respect us just as you respect the governor now. I ain't going to say the legislature because some folks went up there and turned it out. They had to reset. But when they recessed, them state troopers came in, and it could have been more. So I'm all for civil disobedience, protest. I was an activist before I was a counselor. I was an activist before I was a UAW committee person and recording secretary. But I'm going to end by saying this, because I'm long-winded. But when I go long-winded, you're going to catch the total drift of my spirit. You done caught my feelings about this initiative to keep the bottled water pots open, particularly in reference to what Council Person Winfrey describes about the meeting with the governor. You done caught my drift about people not communicating with me in a timely manner. And some folks caught my drift about my political maneuvers being childish. My political maneuvers are my political maneuvers. And I think they full grown. I wasn't going to sit there, Miss um, Winfrey Carter, and allow the newspaper to say the council voted something down. I heard Mr. Griggs voting negative. It wasn't the five people there. I heard something from Mr. Davis I wasn't feeling because he had been called in the room. And I propose, and you can ask me not through you, Mr. President, and Mr. Davis. You were talking to the mayor or Mr. Gilchrist or somebody? All of the above. All of the above. We did the but same thing when we created that policy as it relates to the water. 
I think me and Mr. Santino did. But anyway, Mr. Winfrey, I would yield. But I walked out because I know headlines. You might call it or think it was a certain thing. And you might have rethought it. I've heard from folks you might have. But anyway, I want you to stand strong because you round a cussing council. I will cuss. But I don't mean no harm. I can still go to heaven. I think a cusser yes, can go to heaven. Sir. But anyway, I would yield to <laughs> Well, I mean, we're going to find out. I don't want to burn in jail for the rest of my life. We're going to find out. Lord, we're going to find out from the councilman who cuss go to heaven. <laughs> and, then, and then after that, we're going to hear from Mr. Newsom. Yeah, I want to respond to Councilman Mays because, you know, Councilman Mays, everybody know how big your heart is, but everybody know my Reese a little different, too. And I'm the kind of stand-up type of guy. Because I do the podcast, and I do a lot of transparency in this podcast. If you ain't familiar with it, check it out. And um, as you equate it, everybody got a different personality. But one thing about me, when I go to hire with somebody, I go to hire with it, and I'm only good as my word. I say that, say this about the administration. I say it over and over again, you get titled different names because you have to try to line up in the purpose of me sitting in this seat to keep us on one accord. And us being council and administration. We have, I say it all the time on the record. We have the best administration, period. For some reason, the past history has lingered over into this new administration, which I'm a part of. I'm used to moving people forward that's hurting. So Mr. Mays, when I'm in the back, whether it be the mayor, Mr. Newsom, or, or legal, Ms. Willer, it's always, I'm asking questions because everybody got the same purpose. Mr. Ananik just explained it. People frustrated and they hurting. And we all are on the same page, but we got different ways of approaching. I was very frustrated this weekend how all the work the administration done, including the economic development, getting thrown out the window when we all, nobody in this building or in this city wanted what happened. But all of a sudden, this court came. <sighs> Mr. May, uh, Mays, the way you advocate for everybody, especially on our side of town and the way people look up to you, it's imperative that you know it ain't always we're going to agree. And because we don't agree, don't mean we should never, ever fall out. Ain't nothing you can call me ever going to make me change how I feel about you, period. Check the podcast. But I will always speak truth. When I'm out of order, I need somebody to tell me I'm out of order. The administration in order. Whether they agree with me or not, I don't agree with them. But it's the right way and the wrong way to do anything. So, Mr. Mays, I'm just saying this to you as man to man. We got to learn to respect each other because ain't nobody in this city care more about the city than you. Ain't nobody at this council got more knowledge of council than you. And it's, it's, ain't nobody going to argue that fact. But I will say this. With this crisis still lingering and people, as he stated, still infected with lead, we ain't got time to play. We can't afford division another second. So we need to know the administration is always trying to line up to us, but we got to get the, the check and balances. I'm going to say it again one time. It's not we check and balance the administration. We check and balance for the people that put us in this chair with the administration because that's the only way we're going to pull out of this ditch. And that's where I stand. But once again, nobody have more heart for the city than you, Mr. Mays. And I'm done. May I, I yield, point of order, may I yield, respond to him. You asking me to further year? Yeah, please yield to Tom and then we'll come back. I want because to respond I want to, to him. To him yeah. we, we, I yeah. want to respond to him. Okay, can we, can we just hear what we What about I want to yield? If you don't yield, y'all can't make it. <laughs> That's a decision you have. I want to hear what Ms. Galloway got to say, but I want to respond to Mr. Lippin. I yield because I want to hear what you have to say. I'm mm -hmm. not the I don't claim to be the smartest, but and I don't claim to have the biggest heart. You do. I know I can act foolish and fuss and cuss sometimes, but I got <laughs> respect for you. I got respect for everybody on this council and in this room. And I won't lose respect for folks. I just don't know what their politics is, and then I, I go with the flow. So I don't think personally, what? you know, I just think politically we differ. My movement is going to be with the populace. 
the majority of the people, with the long lines I've seen at the pops, and with the number of calls that I got, and it might only have been eight, nine, or ten, but it wasn't just the four pops. You had deliveries that went along with them pops to handicap and elderly and people who just was poor. Absolutely. So I was looking at the people more so than the council and the administration. I'm, I'm elected by people. And regardless of what they understand or don't trust, I propose to stop, stop gap measure that I thought could help the people and the mayor's administration. People bought that. And all I say to the mayor, you and others, if I'm proposing something, give me the political courtesy of talking to me. I'll call a 10, 15, 20 minute recess. If you had to come out and say, Maze, this is what they telling me, I need to talk to you. And can we call a recess? I think we could have passed a recess with the five of us who was there and then talked. So that's all I'm saying. I don't, you don't always have to agree with me. I don't always have to agree with you, Attorney Wheeler, Mr. Newsom, and nobody. I don't always have to agree with the mayor. But I'm going to try to gauge and agree with the majority of the people of what's best for this community. So that's all I wanted to respond, and I appreciate you allowing me to do that because I wanted to respond while it was hot. And you know, I used to have the Eric May show. You talked about the pot, the show. If I come back out with the Eric May show, I thought it was one of the hottest shows on Channel 17. Now I think the council meeting is. You know how many people tell me they watch the council meeting? Mr. President, thank you, and I now don't yield. I give up the flow. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I just want to say, um, just to my colleagues, I too have heard um, the residue of the old council. I am disappointed in that verbiage. And until this council decides that they're not going to take on the spirit of someone prophesying over you, because that's what it is. And I'm called in to the radio station to ask for clarification. Because the other, the, the previous council was a council that was deemed that didn't work with the administration. I think it's unhealthy for this council to not take on the, the fact that we've worked better with each other than um, most have seen in a long time, but to, again, identify what is the spirit of the old council, because it doesn't change. And so all I'm saying is it's healthy to have respectful debate. It's, it's important to understand that the mayor represents the entire city, and the nine of us represent a section of the city. And sometimes the section of the city that we represent is going to dictate how we support and or not a different scenario. And, and, and so I just want that spirit of tearing down this council to end and that we would really become our own group of nine new individuals. Um, and, and respectfully, look, I respect, don't, I didn't shake my hand on nobody no, else. Just I just want to say, I, I just want to say that, that even I, I, with Councilman Mays, I can respect his proposal because the proposal was based on the scare of this community. And although it may not have been a great long term, the thought short term, and I'll say it again, the water pods closing in March didn't just come up the day that Governor Snyder said it. It's been known. It's been it, it's been known. Governor Snyder, you know, he didn't make that up. In January, I asked the lady that delivers in my church. I said, look, can you just make the statement that there's the possibility that these pods will be closing in March? Why? Because people respond differently when they've been told something. So even if it's not the case, they prepared their hearts, they prepared their minds, they prepared their children. And when you don't do that, you ineffectively um, make this community like we did. I looked at some of the cars, you guys seen it? Some of those cars stood in line for hours. And if they identified how much they made on an hourly basis on their job, they wasted more money sitting in the line to get eight cases of water. But when you are in anguish, and when you are in fear, 
that something is being ripped away from you, you respond out of that fear. And so all I'm saying is as a, as a community of leaders, that we would come on one accord and we would begin to help move this community into the health and well-being that they need. And I'm not going to one more day take on the spirit of lies that this is the old council. If, if you said that five being removed changed it, then let it be changed. But if disagreement between two bodies healthily is deemed that way, then we got a problem with government. I'm just saying, and it's not you, I'm talking about the people that have said it. We've done better in the last six months since we've been a council than we've seen in a long time. And so either we're gonna keep the momentum going or we're gonna live in that shadow of what other people are saying about us. Thank you. Real quick. I done voted and supported stuff on this council this second round that I didn't always agree with. But I voted. I supported the administration. Mm -hmm. Whether it was appointments, whether it's the 30 year deal, I did. And it's stuff we didn't talk about in closed door mediation that we can't even talk about publicly. So when I have a different of opinion with the mayor, I think Angela and I talked about this, and she cautioned me, but I already know it. I can have a disagreement and don't vote with you or anybody else, and we move forward. I look at my scorecard. My scorecard might be six to one, and this is the one. And when I hear folks on the radio, whether it's Dumas, Umas, Overton, Boverton, Moverton, Flynn, Green, Jen, whether it's whoever, whether it's Maurice, Davis, Avis, whoever, let them do it. That's politics at its best. Whether it's an activist, whether it's Tony Palladino, Tony Mallorino, whoever. It could be Kate Fields, Kate Mills, whoever. You ain't going to get away from them. But when the people I support don't call and talk to me, the people I work with on this council don't call and talk, I'm suspicious. Well, what am I suspicious of? Everybody want to be political. Everybody like the cameras. I like the cameras. But I ain't going to chase them all the time. You know how long I've been on TV? Remember, I tell you, I had their image. So, so that's what I'm saying. And this word, and don't be confused, what we're saying is this. It was a lot of talk, I can't say, in the white community, but in the black community, oh, they back to normal. They ain't agreeing, the mayor and the council. If people going to say something like that about me, because I agree or don't disagree, they ain't seen nothing yet. They ain't seen nothing yet. So my position is we better be careful what we say, do, and don't do. Because that's where we cause the problem. The council in the past was just a five to four different majority. I think this council now is a five to four or five to three different majority. And it'll fluctuate on any vote. It can fluctuate. You can see me vote the same as Miss Fields and everybody in the city know I am philosophically, philosophically and politically in sync. You can see her vote with me and she might not philosophically be in sync. I might not agree with other folks. So all I'm saying is whoever puts it out there, call them political snipers. They're trying to divide and conquer. They can divide and conquer y'all or the administration, but they won't divide and conquer me. See, I'm set for four years unless I mess it up. I ain't got no election. The mayor got an election next year. When I'm in an election, I'm paranoid. I don't trust nobody. <laughs> well, the mayor and them trust me. I help them get elected, re-elected. And I done ran for mayor the last three, four times and can play a role. So I give them some sensitivity if they politically, as they try to do a, going into their election. Because when I got one, I'm paranoid. I want everything right. 
but send a message to him. Send a message to him. Angela Newsom, if y'all ready to sleep, because this is a council meeting, and it's some po politics that's important. And you better know the politics get people appointed. If it ain't for the politicians getting these situations, appointees don't even be here. It'd be different appointees. So everything I'm saying, Mr. President, you have been a fair president for the most part. Now, you done had some bad moves. I'll give you 80, 90 percent good. But you, you done had some little political maneuver because you like for everybody to get along. It ain't going to happen. You're going to have Democrats and Republicans. Amen. Now, I'm done. Uh, Mr. I'm, Lewis, I'm done. That's what he say, my friend. I'm done. I'm done. But it needs to be safe. Given the um, the uh, events of the last few days, I think that it is important for the city. When I say the city, I mean administration and council to be on the same page in terms of what we're going to do with this money that appears to be available to us. That the governor. Um, may or may not take away at some point. So what the administration is proposing to council is that we, we jointly resolve to use that money that Senator Annan spoke about. Mr. Lewis, would you give a copy of Absolutely. Mr. President. Absolutely. Mr. President. If I may. So this is a resolution. This is a resolution for 6.1 million. In light of what I heard Mr. Winfrey say about 4.1 million, I would want that amended to 2 million. I understand that. But I still want it worded for the 4.1 and the 2. So I'm getting the amendment, and then you saying working together. But that was the criticism I got. Why Mays didn't get with us and tell us nothing? I did. I mentioned it to an administrative person. You want me to tell you who? And guess what they said? So my position is this. I'm going to listen to you, but I sure don't want you coming in here implying we done work together on this, and it's the first I have seen Oh. Now I, 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 I'm finna, I'm, I'm a certain type of guy. I'm a certain type of guy. I ain't been mo had no discussion about this tonight. So why, if I find out in the council meeting, other folks think they gotta find out from me before a council meeting. So I'm finna listen. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. Newsom. Yes, so, so I'm listening. I'm all here. What we're presenting, what we're presenting to you all, is a, you know, re a resolution, a couple of resolutions. First, we're saying that we want to tell the governor that he should use, that he should allow us to use that money, that 6.1 million dollars that Jim and had just spoke about, use it to credit these water, these water and sewer bills that are very high. Considering the situation that we have, there are a couple of things that are going on. First of all, we know that the pods have closed. We understand that there is a lot of concern in the community um, because, of the, because of the fact that those pods are no longer available. I will reiterate my concern with us using city money, and I'll use it here again, with us using that money to um, keep the pods open. That money's gonna go away, okay? The administration has expressed and continues to express its concern about the positive. We talked about how we can use private money, solicit private money, which is out there. We know Nestle, we know, um, we know celebrities have already said that they will step in and help. We, we can bring that to fruition. Our concern, again, with using state money as well as using local money to do that is once that money goes, it goes. On a consumable, once it goes, it goes. If we were to work together to solicit private funds, um, whether that be from celebrities, corporations, what have you, to keep the pods open, we can use that, we can let, allow them to do that. We know that there's a lot of interest in doing that. Flint still remains in the news. We saw that over the last week. We can, if we can do that, 
but yet use this money to help residents with their with their high um, water and sewer bills, it no. makes more sense for the city, in our in our opinion, financially. And going back to what Councilwoman Worthy was saying a few minutes ago, you know, what are we doing about people in, in affordability? So here it is. If we were to bring that money into the water fund, it does help and puts less pressure on um, on on us as city government in order to keep that fund alive. And you know, and I've reiterated several times to you, the financial situation with the water fund. So right here, what you have is a couple of minutes in front of you. One, specifically to resolve that we compel the governor to use that, to you, allow us to use that money for water credits, for water and sewer credits, excuse me. And then another one to amend the budget to accept that contingent upon um, the state appropriating that money, releasing that money through the legislative transfer to the city of Flint. So with that, I'll um, leave it to Council Councilman Winfrey. You let me know how you want to how you want to handle this. Well, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna ask a discussion with uh, let's see, the first one is Councilman Mayfield. In, in this order, Mays, Galloway, Worthy, and Hill. Mr. President, I'm going to yield to um, Galloway, Worthy, and Fields with it being a yield. Mm -hmm. Because I'm 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 a beast. I'm I'm so eager to respond to this, but um, I'm I'm gonna yield, and then um, if I can't yield no longer, I come back in between. Them. But right now I'm yielding, trying to hold my peace till I hear some things. Cause I don't like the way this is going down. Will the public be speaking for your opponents? Okay, Mr. So. President, public comment is appropriate at some time in an open meeting. Yep, yep. We'll, 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 we'll. It we'll, is. We'll. It's a special. I just said it's appropriate at some time. Not now. So, Council Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I think this is great, but mm -hmm. I'm wondering why now? And I'm going to tell you why, because for, for all this time... You want to have a seat, Mr. Newsom, because people need to hear this discussion. I think this is great, but I'm disappointed. And the reason why I'm disappointed is never once have I even heard the possibility that this $25 million would be used for water credit. We've been talking about water credits. People's um, water liens have been put on their properties. We were fighting with all kind of, you know, talking to Jeff Ch Cherry saying, please, you know, don't, you know. And so now that it's come to closing the water pods, money has been minimized. Now, like, like where was this birth at? Okay, so a couple of things. Our understanding was that that $25 million, and I still haven't gone through the spreadsheet, but our understanding was that $25 million was going to be used to keep the pods open. So we have not had that discussion because it was managed by the state. Now that the water pods are closing and we're learning there's $6 million that's left over, that's the reason for the timing. But there's something that's a little bit more compelling here, the fact that we were, we've were we just been informed that there's a risk that that $6 million, as Councilman Mays, I think, alluded to, um, for that six million could, could be reappropriated to four point one million. Thank you. To be reappropriated to other purposes that um, possibly aren't going to be managed or even um, help the, pe the people of the city of Flint. So there is a that's the reason for the timing. Of, you know, I'm hoping I'm answering your question, but we want to act very quickly now that we're learning all these details. Notwithstanding the meeting that took place with the governor earlier today. We want to act very quickly and send a united message to the governor um, and to the state that, hey, first of all, don't you know we need to have a voice in how that money is going to be used, um, but also at the same time, we don't want you all paying off some other bills with this money that's supposed to be that's supposed to be dedicated to us in uh, making sure that everybody is able to access the water. So that's the reason. Now, um, Mr. Newsom, are you um, aware of the nine million dollars? That um, are you uh, aware of this line items? So Do you know, I have, and I have not had a chance to reconcile their numbers against ours. But ours, but I will say this: as I look through those numbers, um, I will say that um, that there is a, you know, there is a, um, um, I think it's the same as this. 
Of that nine million dollars, part of the funds that was used as part of the concerned pastors and their service line settlement. Again, now the money was allocated from the state to cover costs for Flint. So I hear, you know, a side so, there. But so that's, will you will you be able to give us some clarity on like that's you, broad? Well, I know that I, I'm 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 clear on that. But what exactly does that settlement include? There should be a a line, a breakdown of how the nine million dollars were spent. There was an eighty-seven million dollar settlement. Forty million of it came from when monies. Forty million. Forty-seven million the state has to provide. That's nine of the forty-seven million. Right, but but to what? What is the like the, the I made service line replacement? I mean, oh, so it's it's just part of yes. the six thousand that you guys did, and so on and so forth. Right, it's part of the budget. So why was the money separated out? And and this is the first I, thing, I, Steve. Respectfully, no. this is the first time that I wasn't um, that I'm learning that the pots are different, right? I thought there was already a pot that had it in there. So now we're learning that. The state has to come up with $47 million, and the state pulls that $47 million out of the state's money. They can get it from wherever they have it. So we have no say-so where they pull the $47 million. And They're so obligated for that. So one thing I do want to, just for the record, I want to make this where I wanted to look at, you know, take this back and look and bounce it off. Um, because one other thing that's important for you all to note, and I'll tell you one second, but that $47 million can also come from uh, wind and also come from chip as well. So it's not like the state has to pony up the full $47 million. So there's this whole issue of um, all the, there's a difference between them spending $47 million and then making $47 million available. So that's what Mr. Branch is talking about. So it's really $87 million that they had to make available um, 20, they um, came up with their own to match the EP, the wins 20 million, mm -hmm. that's the 40 million. Mm -hmm. And then for the 47 million that's left over, that's going to be a mix of ship money from the feds as well as their money. Plus, maybe it might be a reserve that they pull from too. So I don't, I, I'd rather make give you a presentation and walk you through what that what that looks like What's your point of versus. The question is going to be whether or not you can replace that nine million with me and any other money when they eat. Well, and that's what and that's what that's, that's, what, that's, that's what, what I was saying right. because so if if the governor is having to come up with kidding. money mm -hmm. and twenty five minutes million is supposed to be allocated mm -hmm. for yes. this community uh -huh. and and he allocates it to us and says, oh, but by the way, I'm gonna need nine million of that. Uh -huh. to take care of money that I'm, you see what I'm saying? It just and, and seems confusing. It may not be, but uh -huh. the way that it's being allocated on this, this that's why we is want, confusing. And that's so why please understand I would, what I'm saying. I, I, would, I would love the opportunity to present, you know, I love presentations. So I love the opportunity <laughs> to present to you guys, you know, where the nine million fits yeah. in with the entire 120 for win, um, the, the 87 that the state's supposed to come up with. Let, let me bring that to you. Um, hopefully, the next time is coming, I'll be happy to do that. Yeah, I just want to say it, it sounds great. It's just the timing, and I get the timing because mm -hmm. the governor is acting weird, but he's been acting weird for two, four, six years. So I'm, I'm just saying I, I probably will support it, but I'm concerned about the timing. Councilwoman uh, Warden? So let me get this straight because this is. So this is both <laughs> We allocated money, yes. win money, yes. to help residents with their water bills. No, 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 no. That did not, no, no. Win money is specifically dedicated to two things service line replacement. I mean, actually, that's not, that's mostly true. Uh, let me break down the budget some more. Service line replacement, right? So that 120 million, the first 40 was for service line replacement, right? So that includes. Go in and hydro vacuum to see if you have copper lines versus lead. We're digging up the lead pipes and replacing them with copper, and then also um, restoring the street and the, the curb, like the curb in the yard, if, if whatever, whatever is necessary. So the first forty million, thank you, thank you. But the next eighty million, okay, the next eighty million of that, we're going to go to the EPA and discuss with them what that's going to be used for. So, so just bear with me, right? Because of that 80, 
you, you used the one and a half million already to pay for a water optimization study. There was a change, there was a uh, contract with Arcadis that we, put, we presented a change order for um, when you first joined the council, if I remember correctly. We paid Arcadis $1.5 million to study the feasibility um, of the water system overall in order to confirm what's necessary to maintain it from an operational standpoint and also from a financial standpoint. So now we've got, so we spent 40, 1.5. So that's 78 and a half left over, right? So you heard the state senator speak and other people speak about this project plan and MTU use plan because we have not, um, we have to go back and tell um, the EPA what we intend to use to balance that money for. So that is, let's say, the new IUP, which will walk through how that money is going to be used, okay? So here's, here's, the, uh, here's the caveat to that. I don't know if you got that, but here's the caveat to that. Part of, there's another bucket of money over here. Steve Branch, the ex-city administrator, mentioned this whole thing about the $47 million that the state has to come up with that's left. Remember that first 40 I talked about is part of 87 that the we, that they had to pony up or provide for service line replacement as part of the um, concern passage settlement, right? So there's 47 left that they have to come up with, right? And that could be a combination of their money and chip money. What they have, what could happen is it's also a two million dollar piece that could come from that first bucket I was talking about, that they could use if they need it to pay for all the rest of the service on the place that could pay for This is why it's easier to present it because you're going to see a It does get a little bit confused, confusing. For, so, so, long story short, long story short, what we're saying is that the state is responsible for for the last few, for the last two phases, which phase five is gonna start really in retrospect tomorrow. Hopefully. Phase five starts now. Phase six starts, let's say for now, 2019, okay? $47 million is required to pay for that. If 47 million isn't enough, then $10 million gets pulled to um, subsidize that 47 million, okay? So that's, that's, and so that leaves 68 and a half million left for capital improvements. So the, you know, the small main fixes for trans, for pumping stations, he's not here. And so there's a whole, there, there's almost two buckets that you have to think that kind of has to interchange with. Does that help a little bit? It will. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll just change for now. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but, but I'm sorry, I have to interrupt. Just to clarify, again, none of those pots of money did I say credits. So the wind money or the money that's left that the state has to pony up because of the concern pastor, none of that money <laughs> is, is is being used for credit, some deals. Point of information. You understand that consent agreement was not just a concern pastor, it was a consent yeah. agreement with the city of Flint. We refer, we refer to it as a uh, You can refer so to it, but it was a consent yeah. agreement signed on with by the concerned pastors, the city of Flint and everybody. Right. Yes. Thank so you it's a consent that. agreement, and it ain't just the concerned so. pastors. I ain't gonna let them get that wrapped like that because the consent agreement came to the council and they said no financial implications. Mm -hmm. And so, that's a point of information. Called me out of order, but yeah, did you know that? It is a point of information. Go ahead, Steve, correct. It's a question. Did you know that? So okay. they knew. My concern is this, and I was going to actually delve into this on Wednesday, is that. 80% of my calls are about water and water bills. Mm -hmm. So I already received two today. Mm -hmm. And so there's a mysterious $1,300 charge one month. Mm -hmm. The water department says it's a leak. They do nothing, change nothing. Mm -hmm. And the next month, it's back down to where it should be. Right. And, and so then they're asked to call a plumber, which is a cost. Right. And then they don't trust the plumber because they could be wrong. So <laughs> I've been dealing with this, and I, I don't want this six million to go to just take away those balances, and then here we are, we still have the same problem, and I'm going to get millions of more calls of, of bills. Madam, Madam <laughs> Word, Madam Word. Yes. Would you give me 30 seconds? Yield to me. Okay. 
we can change that ordinance on them legal justice. He can talk mm -hmm. all day long, but we can change legal justice by ordinance. Well, we have to do something, and that's, uh, I have a special order on Wednesday so that we can come to the bottom of this because I have more to do on council than describe or not be able to describe what the heck is happening with these water bills. So can we make that six million in a way <laughs> that's effective and not just taking care of the one-time fees, but that we fix whatever the heck is happening? So if I if I may respond, Council President, I mean, let's not let's not make decisions for all thirty thousand accounts based on one specific instance. So let me finish. Let me finish. One thing I want you to understand is that as we just have to investigate, and if we find that there is a leak, there will be a leak adjustment or some adjustment. So it's not like that six million will go because we overinflated the bill and then we'll you know we'll subsidize subsidize the overinflation. So I don't want you to get that. The normal process in Councilman May's alluded to this normal process is for us to investigate that, understand what's causing the, the increase in, in, in water usage or you know, what's being needed, and then from there adjust the bill. So we would not say, okay, fine. If we find that you know it's 1300, it's 1300. Well, what I'm hearing is it's not true in 1300. So we adjust it to whatever they say 600, and then we give a credit for 600 or whatever we come up with. So I'm not. Don't think that we're going to we're inflating these accounts, and then we're going to use credits to, to um, credits to subsidize that inflation. We're going to correct it. The, we'll correct the accounts. But again, going back to what I was saying before, let's not make decisions for 30,000 accounts based on that particular one. We do need to investigate that, and I know Rob and Amanda have been um, communicating with you on that one. We, maybe I need to you know, play a, a larger role in that, but I it, think well, that this and, is a separate conversation clarify, than that. That's not just one. Mm -hmm, it's several. like five or six people that have contacted me, and I've only been on council since November. I've got this mysterious charge. I did nothing. But then the water department doesn't investigate, doesn't do anything, just says you should pay your water bill. And, and that's a huge concern. Um, and so maybe we can use this money to work on a water affordability plan mm -hmm. so that if someone makes 700 a month and their water bill is one to $200 a month, and this is an example I've encountered today, mm -hmm. a disabled senior, uh, we're, I mean, that's, that's too much of her income to be paying for a water bill. So can we use the six million to, to, to come up with this water affordability plan where they do not pay more than 3% of their income so that uh, then we can make up the difference? So I specifically put, yeah, and that's, that's exactly why, you know, uh, thank you, city attorney. And that's why you know we made it very clear in the, rec in the resolution that we would propose to you all eligibility criteria. So if you want to make it income-based, I, okay. that's fine. That's I'll why we, that. that, the main goal of this resolution was to resolve that we were going to go to the governor and go to the state and say, we want the money for this. And if we want an income-based uh, elig income eligibility, we propose you all decide. And if you're, if, just like we did with the water relief uh, program for $632,000 part of the legal deal, because of part of the service contract. We came, you, we came, we heard your feedback. We uh, created a program. And then from there, we, um, you all resolve and we accept. Well, then I would be happy to do this, and then we can decide how this money is appropriated. Yeah. It's, a, it's, it's eligibility to be determined for an approved by us and no, adopted by the board. Do you realize you're contradicting yourself? You're saying you would be glad to do this if we can decide how the money is decided, and that's the first step before you be glad to do this. You decide how the money is going to be spent. Amen. And then you get to the detail. So I hear what you're saying, but I think we need to talk. Once he finished, that's why I'm yielding just to see what y'all are saying. So, if Council President, so if I may respond to that, Councilman Mays, keep talking to her. I'm gonna respond no. to you. Okay, fine. So, if I think we built an effective model, what we did originally back in November, December, when we adopted the water service contract, 
we said, we are, let's bring in the 633,000 from the state, right? Let's accept that as part of the water service contract that we signed with Cleveland. Once we did that, we later iterated, we had a special meeting, the finance department along with the administration recommended an approach, we had an iteration on that, and we resolved on the specifics around eligibility and how that money was going to be allocated. Given that, in fact, that we have a model that I think worked and we all agree upon, right, that's number one, and also given the fact that there is a timing issue, Mr. President. I think that point this approach point 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 we call the point of order. Point of order. We call the meeting that's dealing with Senator Anthony. Not hit me on a resolution that could have been brought to city council and it's starting to piss me off. Well, okay, well then ask us. Ask us. Vote on it. If we want to stop for a point of order to vote, I didn't know this was going to go like this, and it's starting to piss me off. Well, I don't want to piss you off. Well, I'm telling you why. <laughs> you know why it's pissing me off? Because I'm not going to sit here and listen to this man go through something that should be in. He's asking, he's asking. Well, then ask us, ask us. He's ask asking us. us. He's, he's, he's I'm calling a point of order what is your because point? it ain't on here. It ain't on here. And it's an end of due, it's, it, it, and we what got to point of order. Okay. Point of order is no, what I, rule is being broken. What rule is being broken? The agenda. Don't you, can't you see what I'm saying? Do I have to break it down elementary? <laughs> Adams you want to fight with me in this field? I said, Adams are all brought on all the time, Mr. Wayne. They are brought on. ain't no add on been brought in. Ain't nobody voted and moved for no add on. So you want me to, I don't care, Miss Field, if you don't like my point of order. I'm going to start telling you I don't like what you do. You pissing me off with that bull. You ain't smart enough to see what it is. You ask me if we'll vote on it. I mean, if you're going to change the agenda, we do that at the beginning of the meeting and say agenda change. Now that I'm seeing what this is and here she making decisions in the grid, your hands, please? I'll watch you. Don't sit by me. I'm tired of you trying to act like black folks trying to hurt you. I'll sit down here. Now, I'm tired of your mess, Miss Fields. You always think no, you can no, talk no, negative. No, no, Don't no. come sit by me no That's more. I made. sit there every That's week made. with your boo. You out of order now. Yeah, I'm out of order. Okay, now you know what Yeah, I'm out of order. Yeah, I agree I'm out of order, yeah, I'm I'm order but I'm pissed because of that boo. I can't help back on track. She out of order when she talking to me. I need you to stay there. Now, let's get in order. You have brought up a point. It's not on the it's not on the agenda. It's on the miscellaneous. We have a miscellaneous line item. Where? Where? We said other miscellaneous items. Where? It say it on the I'm talking about an agenda. What we couldn't do. I know it was posted of the council business, but make the agenda. You should have public speaking on there as well. Amen. Everybody want to be a team. It's pissing me off. You think you going to do something and say something? And I believe I'm in the queue. So it says water issues and other miscellaneous issues. Where? Other miscellaneous items, yeah. Other miscellaneous We didn't call the order. No, we didn't get a roll call. We had question and answer session. I know that. I'm talking about the agenda. So we had question and answer session. <laughs> Question and answer session. That's where we at. Right. Okay. But we gonna do an agenda way. change because I said the public get the comment. I thought we'd be sitting out there. No. It's a special it meeting. We ain't never had no special okay. meeting. I know everybody who maneuvered Council and what's being said. Okay. Mr. Okay. President, okay. all okay. I'm okay. telling you is if you gonna rule, win, rule on this and we gonna discuss it, carry five votes. That's what but I'm the point is, I'm a point of, I didn't appeal the ruling because you ain't right. rude. That's right. I said, point of order, I'm getting tired of this on and on on something that ain't on the agenda. And when you said that, I, as you speak, I have Because right. I say all the time, it can as be As you speak committed. and not get interrupted, I have the right to do the same thing. That's correct. As well. But I got interrupted by Miss Fields. And it got to the point she went to act like my hands threatening her. Okay, and now, I move because if you hit a white woman, you're going to the penitentiary. Now, can we get back in I'm order? I'm so tired of her boo. 
That's just implying stuff. Just ignorant. And it's over and over. Remember, I'm the most racist person she ever met in her life. She must have lived a sheltered life. Councilman Mays, I'm trying to get I'm trying Okay, to get well then keep out. them calm down. Ain't nobody saying that but you. They did. It's what they say and do that pisses me off. And then they hide. You throw the rock and hide your hand. Normally I'm laughing and joking. I got the message. He gonna get it too. Quit that bull. Because I wanna cuss. You can do whatever you want, but it's just not gonna go un unmet. Okay? I'm a, I was an actor before I was a counselor. I'm not interested in that. I'm, I'm interested, interested in I'm interested in moving forward. I, I will. You have said you said we're out of order. I this is going so long. That. It's a committee meeting now. You you said that we're out of order. I'm trying to address that. You said that it's not on the agenda. Can we get a vote? That's where I'm trying to get now. You said I didn't appeal back. your rule. I understand. I haven't ruled yet. Right. So all I'm asking is that this can be a discussion in the appropriate committee. Because it's I see what it is. They done brought a resolution to a special meeting. Or if y'all think we gonna vote on this, that's what their intent was. Council Bring Council it and pass it. Here's what we're gonna do. All of us, those of us that are out of order are going to get into order, or I'm going to ask you to leave. Now, I want you to be here because you represent... Let me ask this question. I, I'm not, I'm not going to be Can I unyield the flow? Remember, I yield. So since I'm out of order, can I unyield? Answer me that. No. Since I'm going to show you no. that I know... And then proof. here's what's going to happen, Council Mays. We're going to... I'm going to, I'm going to do this democratically. I'm going to see if the Council, if our colleagues want to have... Mr. Newsom to present this. We're going to do it by vote. Now, it's already on here that that the, the issues that we're going to discuss, water issues and other miscellaneous items, Let me under the, it's question, under the meeting Mr. agenda. President, so but he getting votes. Is we, they planning on hearing this and voting on this? I resolution know, your, has been your, brought. Your That's colleagues, what the your, plan is your, to your, me. Your colleagues have the right to vote. <laughs> They sure do, but I didn't know. So, I, I without, any further, without any further discussion on Councilman Mays' uh, point of information, a uh, point of order, he wants a vote of having Mr. Newsom present the resolution. And that's what you said. For both? And so I'd like to entertain a motion. Mr. President, I'd like to make that motion. I'd like to entertain a motion, you get a motion. to have uh, uh, Mr. Newsom continue. No, that's the motion you want. I make a motion. Make a motion. I make a motion that this is discussed in the appropriate committee, and that this ain't voted on in this special meeting, because I want to digest it. I'm. Li Let me make the motion first. I move that this go for discussion and action out of the appropriate committee. Okay, it has been moved. Is there a second? I'll second. It's been moved and seconded. Is there any discussion? Yeah. Mr. President, the reason I'm the reason I'm making it. No, 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 because the motion has been made, Councilwoman Councilwoman Field. Now let's let's let we already got one person out of order. You how you gonna make a uh, how you gonna get in and the, the motion that's that out of order is who? Go ahead. <laughs> Mr. President, the reason I make that motion because it hit me. They done brought a resolution to a special council meeting, in my opinion, for action. And I'm hearing votes line up. I can vote for it. I ain't even made that decision yet. And that's a premature buy-in with all this talking. That's like discussion on a motion. He having a field day. And I'm saying to myself, this is a slick move in a special meeting. <laughs> a very slick move. The sum ain't been through committee. I made a motion on the similar fund. Now all of a sudden, here they done brought something in slick to discuss and vote for action. And I'm hearing colleagues buying in. I vote for it. I ain't into that. And it was starting to piss me off when I seen the direction I think you was headed through you to Mr. Newsom. You brought this for vote today. I see what I'm saying. Ain't that bad? No, I just asked you a question. We're in discussion on a motion. You ain't a council person. 
And that's why I picked up on him. I said, this guy lobbed in the council on something he done come for, and I'm hearing him buying in. We finna exhaust that six million the way he wants and ain't discussed it among ourselves. Now, I'll table the motion to send it to the appropriate committee, but this council need to have some discussion on what we want to use that money for. Not just the administration and then he coming in with credits. <laughs> credits. So he can get the money in his coffer, but then he going to come in with credit money for his coffer, but don't want you to use two million of the same money for water pot. So if he wants you to get an influx to his car for six million, I done sit here and listen to him today and the other day. Got a problem with what the people want. If you getting a six million influx, sir, you shouldn't have a problem with a two million dollar temporary expenditure. So I don't even want to discuss it and vote on it this quick. And that's why I moved that it go to a committee like regular. And they still ain't called me. So they want to prove I'm shop liver, and y'all can try to help them prove it by voting because I'm against it. I wasn't with, not Miss Galloway, they right. This is just like the other council. I didn't mind being <laughs> on in the minority. I was in the minority for four years. Couldn't win president, chairman. The border, Mr. Mays, is going way on time. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm pushing to vote no. I mean, yes, to postpone this. That's on top. And, and then I'm going to ask you to wrap Thank you. And then I'm going to ask again to communicate. Because they didn't, they didn't tell Newsom to proceed and wrap it up. Ain't nobody told nobody I yield to to proceed and wrap it up. But every time this council people's person speak, who is a minority opinion, and people <laughs> jockeying to be cool with everybody, and the talk, ain't no way the administration shouldn't have told me about this. So everybody who want to be cool, who knew? Did you know this was coming for action, Mr. Day? Mm -hmm. Did you know Mr. Winfrey? Yes. This is the dialogue. Did you know I'm Miss Ga Galloway? This is coming for action. Right. And it's out of the process for some this big to come straight to council for a vote. Good thing you're all here. So, uh, all right, so I, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Just, just say Listen, we good. I apologize, sir. Let me tell you something now. We can all, I'm going, I'm going to give the public uh, their opportunity to chime in, but we are not going to make a circus out of this now. We good, we good. Don't, don't do it again. So that's why I'm at, Mr. Mr. President, and I will wrap it up, but I'm not going to take no bull off of Kate Fields or nobody else when I'm doing points orders. My cable off, I'm broke, I'm mad. So I don't come to these council meetings for that mess. I'm going to be done, but all that competing and you ain't on point. Yes, I am on point. And what I was starting to say, Ms. Galloway, that's what the other council did. Everybody wanted to politic with Wallen, the mayor, and be on TV. And the point, and the point is people vote wrong hastily and quick. And then they glad to outvote me. And now some of them gone. And I'm still doing the same thing. Going to continue to talk about what the people want, how this process works, and I'll be doggone. If we slip back into this competing with May's thing as a council, I think I'm going to win. And Kate, one last thing, Kate Fields ain't going to discredit me with her slick. I want to cuss. Because it ain't slick. <coughs> Do I have four? <coughs> okay. I believe this is being presented because Mr. Newsom said clearly that there is a fear that the state will try to use one million to pay off their lawsuit, as we can see in the spreadsheets that were given to us that the state has used money that was allocated for the use of Clint every six ways to Sunday. 
and it looks like anything they could remotely charge to the city of Flint appropriation, they charge to it. Regular programs in Misha, Health and Human Services, you know, double bucks, I don't know how that's related to water usage or water crisis, but they've done it. So I think it's very clear that the reason this is, timing is of the essence, is that this 6.1 million, okay, can be captured to prevent them from doing that. It's a very wise decision. It's a preemptive strike to keep them from doing that. And this would actually solve many problems. One of our biggest problems as we go through this budget period is our fund balance. If these were allocated to credits, okay, it would solve multiple problems. It would allow us to capture um, bills that are owing, okay, which I remind you it did before. If it's owed, remember that 24 million that's owed? I believe it would allow us to capture a good chunk of that. It would also satisfy what Ms. Wooding and others are concerned about, okay, is helping the residents in the city. And from what I've seen of these water pods, these people are coming in from Owasso, okay, loading up on things of water. This says clearly that there are other, and I believe this is true, we've heard from United Way, we've heard from celebrities, we've heard from churches, they are going to help provide bottled water in the ponds. We have to be smart and use this money in the smartest way that we can. If we do it this way, we keep the state from taking the money, we help shore up our water fund, which is in serious, serious trouble, uh, we help the least fortunate among us in the city, okay, and we do something long term. And by the way, one question for Mr. Newsom quickly is, is this also, would this subject be, be subject to the 4% investment interest, which I calculated is close to 250000 mm -hmm. that we could also add to help residents in the city? I want to confirm that, but... I think so. Close to 246 on my yeah. calculators. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So this is the smartest thing I've seen, and I really want to commend the city. Once again, Mr. Newsom comes in with how to use the money in a smart way. So for that reason, I would like to offer a substitute motion. I would like to move that. We move this while well, we're at a special meeting. Ms. Clerk, can I ask a question? That's a contradictory motion. It can't be a substitute motion. This goes up and down. And what she making the motion and asking questions, you know, I already see where she is. If I have this one to from a historical standpoint, we have done walk ons before at council meetings. This is going to be a council meeting. Okay, so for that reason, I would offer, offer a substitute motion that we pass both of these resolutions here order. and now. What's your point? I just said it. That motion is improper. It's contradictory. That ain't a substitute. Explain to her why it's improper. When you make a substitute motion, it takes the original motion and go along with the regular motion, with the original motion. You can't do a contradictory motion on the regular motion. You just vote it up or down. Mr. Winfrey, I, I disagree, but I'll do the research on that. I don't have time to do that right now. But you know what I would suggest? I would withdraw my motion. And, and I would suggest we vote Mr. May's motion up or down, and then I'll make a motion on this. Is there any other discussion? Is there any other discussion? Yeah, I got it. Is it okay for the public to speak? Because I'm they're, 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 they're going to speak before we before they we vote on this motion. So they want to speak before we yeah, vote on this motion. That's fine. That's, that's what I was just asking. Okay. At least I, the one that I, wants I, to. Then, I, then what we'll do, Councilwoman Galloway, once all of the council persons. Speak in on this, get in on this discussion when I will allow the uh, public to speak as well. Um, so, is that, is that it for you, Councilwoman? Could you repeat his motion? Uh, 
uh, council made your future motion? I am Mr. President. <coughs> she got a point of information. She can ask a point of information and ask it to be repeated. But when she started just howling out and doing mm -hmm. with her little tippy meticulous about me, I'm finna play it to the hip. Because Jackie Parker used to do that time now. Put your hands. And people seen it all on TV. I'm used to this now. Let me say this. Now here she done gave the speech because I'm against it. This is the smartest proposal I heard. No, it ain't. The smartest proposal is amending it to 4.1 million and 2 million over here. That's smart. The smartest proposal is to go through this like we was doing when I yield before people start agreeing I vote for this. You ain't even heard the whole council discussion yet. But this still now all of a sudden administration is <coughs> smart. If it takes me to get five folks to vote because I say something else, God bless them. That's the strategy I used to use with the other council. Miss <laughs> Mills ain't fooling me. She ain't studying the particulars of this resolution. She's studying trying to show folks she can be some different than Eric May. That's my view. This ain't the smartest use of that money. I even been tuned out because <coughs> I don't even know the proposal right now. <coughs> but I'm picking up on it. This is 6.1 million for water credits. Is that what I'm hearing, Mr. President? 6.1 million for water credits. All of a sudden it's popping out when I'm talking about this reserve fund for pots. You should have been in the plot for 6 million. This is politics at its best. I'm used to people trying to show maids up, whether it's Newsom, the mayor, Kate Fields, or whoever, and it's pissing me off. This didn't magically come at this time. Magically. And this don't stop the governor from using 4.1 million and throwing your stuff in the trash. This is a game. Just because we asked for it, don't mean he gonna do it. He might say already, he told, Mr. Winfrey told you when nasty and he gonna use 4.1 million for some lawsuit or something, didn't you say, Mr. Winfrey? Yeah, so Mr. Newsom, I'm not gonna let you and the administration come in here playing games with this council. That's my view. And I think this is a politically timed game on the special meeting that I asked for, for Senator Annick to talk about this money. And my phone ain't wrong. And so that's how I look at it. And if you want to get serious, today, Monday, in two days, the timing is the same. Now, if this motion vote down, watch what's going to happen when the discussion come to me. Because I yield. I think it was you, Miss Worthen, and Miss Fields. I heard Miss Worthen say something about yeah, but. So we got to get to the yeah, buts. That's the amended resolution. Miss Fields trying to sell y'all this the best thing since sliced bread. You know why? Because of what Councilman May is saying. Personality politics. And I'm so tired of it. I'm for the substance. I'm going to say this. I'm counting votes, Ms. Galloway. I'm going to count. Winfrey in favor of voting on this today. Fields in favor of voting on this today. She said it. Oh, I'm counting votes, Ms. Worthy. I don't know where you at. Seems like you want an amendment, but you might be personally against Mays, too. Davis, he supports the administration. That's four. It takes five. This motion to go to committee can fail, Ms. Galloway. It can fail, Ms. Um, Winfrey Carter, because that ain't the cure all. <coughs> it ain't the cure all. So if they want to take action today, then the next motion should be to amend this. 4.1 million and two. So don't trip off of me. I done did my thing. I done made my motion to do it the right way. 
<clears throat> and send it to the committee on Wednesday. You know why? Because Wednesday ain't no different than Monday. Today is Monday, and here they done brought it in a special meeting talking about we got to do it because what the governor said. The governor said he knew in his mind he was going to spend $4.1 million of it before they met. They met on Monday. He knew that Friday. This game ain't going to make the governor say I'm going to get a whole $6.1 million to flank. He didn't get, want to get two million. Now all of a sudden, if we show unity and get this six million into the wild and sewer fund, because Newsom said it, he's still telling, but I don't want to let y'all use two million of that for about a while. How selfish is Newsom? Y'all helped me get 6.1 million, but I'm turning y'all down on the resolution that you and the people want for 2.2 million. This ain't the best deal since sliced bread. We made that mistake on the 30 year deal. Wasn't your motion? Wait, 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 wait. She said point of information. She, 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 she got to oh, go through the check. I don't know if you heard it. Um, wasn't your motion for the 2.2 million that from the general fund? Yes. That's where the 16 million is at, to be replaced by this money a week or two later. If you can apply for this money and get it a week or two later, my proposal was use our money, keep the pots open. Remember, they don't close now. Because I made this on a Monday, knowing they would close on a Tuesday or Wednesday. That's a mute issue. Because they didn't close. The delivery didn't close because people didn't listen. Who could have, in my opinion, kept them over, whether you talk to the governor, smothering or rubber. They were lined up on dirt highway. They was lined up on. So that's a mute issue now, keeping the pots open. That's not. That's a mute issue. He blocked it, and others blocked it, with the mayor and others saying, don't do what May say, let the pots close. In essence, that's what they said, because he said, um, it ain't a guarantee we can get that money. Well, you heard from Adam, Nick, it ain't a guarantee. This six million ain't a guarantee. But all of a sudden, Kate, huh, it's the best thing since sliced bread is brilliant. Well, it ain't that brilliant, it's fooling y'all. Because the governor ain't gonna do this, I ain't gotta do it, not if he wanna spend four point million, four point one million. You think you were lying to her and them when they went up there today? This again, the best thing you could do is amend it. Two million, four point one million. That's the amendment to even this resolution. So I'm saying, I can't wait to talk about this. And they made me so mad the way they did this. I move that it go to committee and we discuss it the right way. But this might be the best time because everybody ain't in committee. People leave. So I'm going to be voting no. And every indication I read in this small meeting, Gary ain't here, Briggs ain't here, four votes, it fails. And I sure want it to. I don't care if it fails because it's going to come back with an amendment. But I had to stop what I seen was going on. This guy fooling y'all. Come from the government. Uh, I have a question. I want to know, we don't have to, or we don't have to do the resolution to amend the budget without first doing the resolution to request the money. Right. So in essence, we could approve one and table another and see if this is accepted or not. I will say for the record, um, I do not want Governor Snyder to spend the money, and so I will support the motion. I do believe that everything is political, as much as, you know, it, 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 the timing is great. We look, not we, but it looks like the perfect answer. I'm gonna say again, 
we should have, if we knew that this money could be allocated for water credits, we shouldn't have been worried about waiting for Governor Snyder to possibly not give us the money. We should have been looking at those options already. But again, I'm going to support this, this motion because I don't want him to spend it. I don't know if he's going to say yes or no, but we should have been having that discussion early on, even before this. And when we look at how we allocate this, as much as I am in favor of those that are struggling with their water bills, there needs to be some reparation for people that have paid their water bills. I have a lot of seniors that have a limited amount of money and they have consistently paid their water bills and they should see some relief as well. I just want to make sure I say that. If I may, I just want to respond. I think that, again, the way we wrote it was Mr. President, so that, so that we point of order. Now, I know we're in discussion on a motion, but do you know if I could respond every time somebody talked on a motion, I could win a lot of them? We're in council discussion. So you don't want council? You he can. I ain't got a problem with it, but I just want you to understand the point of order. I ain't against him responding, but if he responds every time we talk on discussion of a motion, I could win. I know, I know, and I ain't against it. I'm just saying the point of order because if you give me that opportunity, I can sway votes every time back and forth. But anyway, I ain't opposed to it, but just so you know. I, I'm not a politician, and trust me, I don't want to be a politician. The way I look at it is very simple. Yes. The way I look at it is very simple. If we have heard wind of um, this six point one million dollars is no longer it's not gonna be used for three months of pies, right? We know that's the case. Mm -hmm. There's no there's no debate in that. So what we're saying is we need to come and you know and give the gover governor a strong signal that we want to have determination of how the money's gonna be used. In my mind and in the mind of the administration, it makes more sense for us to look at water affordability, as Councilmember Worthy has said, or whatever it is. But the main thing is that we need to give something to, to Governor Snyder very quickly. This is in the news. I'm sure you heard the press conference earlier today and what the mayor, and what the mayor said. So right now, it is very important for us to keep, you know, to keep the pressure on the state resolve very quickly. This is our money. We're going to dictate how it's going to be used. You're not going to get, you're not going to slide out of giving us this money. So again, the way we wrote, and then this using it this way provides lasting support for the residents of the, of the city of Flint. So going back to you know again, I like the term of affordability. We can help residents predict how we, we we want you all to make that final determination on eligibility. The main thing is right now we're resolving that we want to use this money to support residents in terms of their water and sewer bills that have struggled through this. Uh, sort of through this water crisis. Mr. So that's President. the point of the timing and the need is to do it now. And President point Warby, of I just, What's your point? So you telling this council we don't dictate the spending of that money? I'm telling the council we're resolving, we're sending a, this is a yeah, request, to read the resolution is to make a request. You to a serious body. You said we gonna dictate. President Winfrey, were you a part of the drafting of this? No. Okay. And the only reason why I ask is in, in the past when resolutions have come from the council, there's a lot of different things that have to take place. And so I just knew that you were a part of the um, meeting. And I was, I was part of the meeting. Were, right. I didn't know but, if you were a part of drafting well, once, this. Once everybody gets done, I'll explain yeah. how this thing unfolded. And, and, and. But Ooh. so can we do one? And not the other. I think yes. 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 you can do one and not the other. I think the budget amendment can wait. I think the budget amendment can wait. However, I think the original resolution is to make that. Councilwoman Worth and you you all but you know what? My, my question was yes, sir, because I'm trying to know if we can vote on it's going to be separate, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. so it's the one where you're recommending. Snyder. Yes. Right. That's the one. That's, the one. That's for sure that one. We can yeah. table the budget then. Mm -hmm. Mr. President. Wait a minute. I got, I got some folks in order in line. Mm -hmm. And I just want to say, yeah, I want 
I want us to have um, our six million dollars, our six point million dollars. But right now, I don't know. I need to. I'm not ready to vote on um, the usage of the six point one million dollars. But I would um, definitely vote to to get our, the money in our hands. Point of information: Does the amendment that we're um, considering the recommendation of Governor Snyder? It has embodied in it how the money will be spent. So technically, are we bound by even the amendment when it comes when we vote because of how this is saying, instead of just saying, we recommend that Governor Snyder allow us to choose how we're going to use the money. So my understanding, and I'll also allow Council members to chime in as well, for the people that can talk about this out of the room, but my understanding is, is that it would pro it would be stronger a stronger signal if we were to say exactly. that exactly how we intend to use it because remember this is a recommendation to say we just want the money and not talk about the usage is um is a, is a little tougher to push through versus specifically stating this is what we intend to use the money for. And we still waiting. I'm still, still waiting. We're still, we're still uh, in discussion. Uh, isn't the motion on the floor to postpone the motion? Yeah. Yeah. No, that's not, the, that's not the motion on the floor. She just well, walked in the clarify. room. I've been please, standing. You please clarify wait. the motion. You call on her. I'll withdraw that if I know what the motion is. Well, yeah. the major motion was to say uh, this she was been trying to be recognized. She wasn't in here. I'm trying to tell her what the motion is. Right. Council Major's motion was to send this to the committee. And we said, hey, that's the way we Okay. Going. And I left for 20 minutes. I came back. Doesn't matter how long you were That's fine. And I'm calling the no. question. It has to be supported? Yes. I support that. Oh. Come on, well, we don't vote it down. We don't vote it down. We are going to move it. It's been moved. And it's supported. So. Point of information. Why, why do we have to talk about it? No, this is voting. point of information. If we, if, if the um, call for the question is approved, we get enough votes, then we automatically vote on the motion. The motion. Mm -hmm. We'll no, right, but no, once we vote on the question, yes. if it is a passes, then we automatically right. go to the vote on the motion right. on the floor, correct. which correct. doesn't that's allow correct. for that's the correct. public right. to get the opportunity to speak. Am I correct? I just want to make sure. I, I just wanted to, I just wanted to, okay, I didn't want to, I was clarifying. I withdraw my second. You can't. You can't withdraw it. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Oh, no, you because it's already been rich. You can withdraw it. You can withdraw it. I'm not. We can call the question. We vote on heads. We can take your vote. Madam Clerk, roll call. Roll call. This is on the call for the question. Yes. Mr. Mays? No. Mr. Davis? Yes. Ms. Fields? Yes. Ms. Winfrey Carter? Yes. Mr. Winfrey? No. Ms. Galloway? No. Ms. Worthing? No. Didn't make it. Okay, it's 3-3. Three, three. Mm -hmm. Mr. Madam President, Mr. President, Mr. President, is it appropriate now for me to have the floor? If it is. Yes, it is appropriate now. You don't have the floor anymore. You, you. I never spoke. Can't help it. You, you. That's a done deal. Mr. President, I ain't going to call for the question. She can speak. But Mr. Newsom then is saying we decide. And that's my point. We ain't decided nothing. They didn't decide. And they bringing it to us for approval. I want to discuss about this $6.1 million. And he's saying we can send a message. But Mr. Annanick just told me that's the governor's call and the legislature, and normally it's the governor's call. And the governor told you, from what you told me, 4.1 million was going to be used for some board of education settlement. Yeah. And so I'm telling you, 
this the time to talk about it. And if you want to send that message, remember, listen folks, Ms. Field said I want to do a substitute motion to not do this. A substitute motion has to be compatible. A substitute motion can be made on this to bring 4.1 million in for water credit and another two point another two million for the discretion of the council and anybody else, but they want to know what we gonna do. The problem I got with Mr. Newsom giving him my rubber stamp is because every time we done asked him for two million, he don't want to let it go. But he need our vote to get six million. And we, in school, we if, if you keep giving people something, they don't give you nothing, that's foolishness. Now, he wasn't even expecting this six million in the water and sewer fund, telling us about deficits and agency, because now here he coming to us, vote for this six million, to hell with what May is talking about. And, he, and Kate Fields loving it, so she done teamed up with him. You see how that call for the question went? It wasn't the right thing to vote yes on her when we didn't see out the room and we told the public they can speak. Amen. That shouldn't have never passed in principle because we had already made an agreement. You got to watch these slick maneuvers. And if I don't put them out there, I ain't mad at y'all because everybody can vote the way they want. But people looking at what we do. Mr. Newsom and people recommending this 6.1 million. Ms. Galloway, right. Why did they didn't recommend it? You know how long I've been talking about this 25 million since we was voting on the 30 year deal with Gleeble. Money been sitting there at our discretion. You know how many people complain about them credits? We need more credits. All of a sudden now, after I bring a proposal to keep the pods open and talk about this 25 million. Somebody get the bright idea now. That's politics. Because they've been saying, why Mays didn't tell nobody what he was doing? I did. I told Gil. Guess what he said? You know how close watch Newsom watched that money. I said, Newsom worked for us. So don't let nobody tell you I didn't tell nobody. I told you, didn't I? I only can talk to one council person on one subject matter. I don't talk to three, four, and five. That's what Kincaid and them used to do, round robins. I told you the details of the proposal of the two minutes and told Mr. Gilchrist. And his response was, you know, Newsom, watch that money. Yeah, Rich Bad sent him here. Or recommended him. <laughs> That's what he did. He threw you. Hey, did, 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 Rick, did Rich Bad recommend you since it's so doggone funny? Do you know whether he recommended you? Councilman Mays. I'm that, asking. That, that is so unfair. Is it irrelevant? It's, it's, is it irrelevant since it's so funny? Council is it relevant? You know it. You're chairing the you meeting. Know it. Through you to Mr. I'm Mad Man. Did Rich Bear recommend you to come here? Since you were turning around looking at people laughing, you don't know me yet. Is it that funny? Okay, then why is is it, is it the truth? Is it the truth? Is it the truth? Point of order. Since you want to tell me what's unfair, is it true? It's unfair that y'all keep going behind my back and ain't talking. That's what's unfair to me on two and six million dollars worth of recommendations in the water This is devolved. She's going to order. She can leave, but tell her to be quiet when she leaves. I ask a fair question. When people want to laugh and come in these meetings and politics to vote. This is totally unprofessional. Stick around. You unprofessional. So unprofessional, you're burnt out. I am sticking to it. When have you known Miss Fields running with Newsom? This again. I am sticking to it. But I want to ask a question. Why my phone ain't wrong? Now, what was unfair when they was putting out in the street, I hadn't told nobody. I talked to 
Jerry Winfrey Carter, and I talked to Mr. Gilchrist. See, I'm the type of person, I don't let people tell falsehoods on me. I'm getting calls from Pastor Flynn. I'm getting talked to Pastor Harris. I'm hearing Dumas and Overton them on the radio. This is a big thing. And so he can say it's unfair, but you in the game of politics. You better tell those folks to quit telling people lies that I didn't talk to nobody. It's a lie. Okay. And so what I'm telling you is this. I'm going to keep it professional too. So it can blow up, but when I'm in here talking in these council meetings, you can look back at Angela and laugh if you want to. He didn't do that. Yeah, he can do that. Mr. President, and what's she talking about? He didn't do that. I seen it. Yes, he did. He did Quit lying. No, he did not. I gotta pick my grandbaby. So when it break up, uh, for him, it's over. Well, that really like that, right? Not hanging out. So y'all don't do the public like that, right? Y'all, I told you after the last video. So y'all can make Presented by Spectacle Productions and underwritten in part by the Flint Pipe Fitters Union. Looking for pipe fitters apprentices throughout Flint. With more information available by calling 810 720 5243 or online at local370.com. Join us at WFOV for rebroadcast and simulcast of City Council and other government meetings. 92.1 LP FM Flint.